Hello everyone, what's happening? This is Forgo, and today we're going to talk about guilds. So let's jump right on into it. We'll jump into the guild here. Now the first thing I want you to notice is that my guild is at level 24. Now, the level of the guild, what that's going to do for you is, whenever this reaches level 15, it's going to unlock your guild buffs. And your guild buffs are going to offer HP increase, defense increase, attack increase, but only in certain game modes. We'll talk about that in a second, and I'll show you what that's all about. You also have the guild fun. Now, to build your guild fun, you have to donate either gold or items. Now, usually I don't recommend donating any of these items, the infinity items and what have you, unless you're just never going to use them again, uh, because you're going to use them really just to level up your characters. So usually I just donate gold. So you can see right now my guild fund is at 28 million. We'll go ahead and donate a million here. There we go. And now you can see it's at 29 million. And the way to increase your experience on your guild, go from level 1 to level 2 to level 3 to level 4 and so on, is to just greet your members every day. So you see right now it's 48,470. We'll greet someone. Now it's 48,500. Greet someone, 48,530. The more people in your guild, the more you're going to be able to donate. I believe the guild had to reach level 20 to be able to have 45 guild members. I think before that it was 35. Don't quote me on that. But I think that was the case. So I'm going to go ahead and greet all 10 of my members. And if all the Alliance members are doing this every day, you're going to build your experience pretty damn quick. You're going to be able to level up your go your guild really, really fast. So they're, they're all done. Now let's talk about the guild buff. Now, the guild buff, whenever you're only your guild leader can actually apply this every single day. Now, these buffs are only good for a 24-hour period. Once that 24-hour period is up from the time you use these, then your buffs are gone. And then when you do it again, your buffs will be up. Now, I believe the higher your level of your guild, the higher the buffs you're going to be able to put on your roster throughout certain game modes for 24 hours each day. So the, so these buffs that you're going to see here, they're not going to stack on top of each other. They're just going to be for a 24 hour period. Every day you're going to be able to get guild coins. You can see we got some guild coins right here. Now why are these important? Well, guild coins are important because of the exchange shop. And again, you got to get your guild level up to a certain point. I think it's at 15. I think maybe it was level 10 to get the guild buff. I can't remember. It's been a long time. I think it was level 10 for the guild buff. And I think it was level 15 for the exchange shop. But you go into the exchange shop, you can see we got souls. I think that's a ripoff. 1,250 soul or 50 coins for one soul. I think that's a total ripoff. But you got capsules, 750 coins for uh, one capsule. But here's where it gets really good. Ever since the update, now... Look what you can get from these tickets. You can get, you have a chance to get these characters completely for free. You got 97 Orochi, Ignitz, Lovely Kula, Baseball Vanessa, Leone, Ashiro, Zero, Mukai. I mean, look at the, it's just ridiculous, man. Look at all these awesome characters. Gonets, Shermie, Ash is in here, Nakaruru. It's just, wow. And you, I mean, pretty zeros in here. I mean, you have a chance of getting one of these characters. And not only that. But then you take a look at the battle card. And look what you have a chance of getting. You can actually get this fest set. Now it's good. it could take you a while. You need three of the cards. But still, this is absolutely amazing. Uh, you can get all these 3PG cards. You can get the 3PG Buster Wolf card for Terry, which is awesome. You can get the 3PG card for Mary. You can get the 3PG card for Athena, and so on and so on. It's freaking crazy. You have the Kula Vacation set in here, which increases attack equal to 40% of defenses, increases defenses by 5%. You have the Mad Tea Party set. This is an amazing set. Increase attack by 5%. Increase critical rate by 8%. Deals additional damage equal to 220% of attack upon landing a critical hit. I mean, this is crazy. This is absolutely insane that they have these cards in here. You got the Halloween set. I mean, <laughs> wow. It's so cool. And then you have just a regular old Kula set. So you definitely want to be in a guild so you have the opportunities to be able to buy these tickets and hopefully 
have a chance of getting a good card or a good character. I think this is freaking wonderful. Absolutely amazing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the match here. And we're going to look at the CP and all the stats on my Ignis here. He has 15,000 CP, guys. He has 103,940 HP. He has 11,313 attack. And he has 2,860 defense. Let's get out of here. Let's go into the league. Let's look at Jen. Now my Jin right now has 22,245 CP. He's got 130,072 HP, 18,501 attack, and 14,736 defenses. Let's get out of here. And let's go into the story mode first. Now let's take a look at Rugal. Now, Rugal right now has 20,000 CP, he has 131,322 HP, 16,955 attack, and 5,451 defenses. We'll get out of here. We'll go to the event quest. And we'll just click on Athena because I've already done the Gonads event. And you can see that it's the same thing, the exact same stats, 20,000 CP, same HP, attack, defenses. Then we'll go to the epic quest. Okay, click on this one here. You look at Rugal again, same thing, same CP, same attack, same HP, same defenses. Now the reason I showed you all of this is to show you the difference whenever you apply your buffs. Now remember, these buffs only last for a 24 hour period from the time you do them. So we're gonna use it right here use this and we're going to use this now we've added 3000 hp in some game modes we've added 100 defense in some game modes and we've added 200 attack in some game modes now which game modes let's go find out so we're going to go back into match here we're going to go into infinite battle and we're going to look at ignits now Ignis has 15,406 CP. All of his stats are the exact same. So when you do the buffs, it doesn't affect infinite battle whatsoever. When you go into League, let's take a look at Jin. Jin has 22,245. So all of his stats are the same. So as far as, and it says it in the, whenever we're looking at the guild, but I just wanted to show you all of this directly. So in match, in match here, none of those buffs will apply. So when you're facing infinite battle, when you're facing league, and definitely in championship, none of those buffs will apply. So let's take a look at the story mode. Oh, now look. Now we have an extra 317 CP. We have 134,496 HP, so 3,000 more HP. We have 17,185 attack. So 200 more attack. And we have 5,551 defense, so 100 more defense. We get an extra 317 CP. So when you apply those buffs, it will give you a little extra CP for the story mode. Let's go into event quest. Oops, wrong one. So he's pushing on there. You take a look at uh, the event quest, same thing. You're still going to get the buffs here as well. And then if we go to epic quest. All right, here we go. The same thing. So this is one of the reasons those buffs are so important. Now, it, it might not seem like a whole lot, but it is something. And I do believe the higher level of your guild, the higher the buffs are going to be. I'm not 100% sure about that. You can't, I mean, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure because that would be a good way to incentivize people to keep leveling up their guild. But I know you have to get the guild up, I believe, to level 10 to open up your guild buffs. And I believe to level 20 to get you know the extra 10 guild members. I believe it's 35 before, and now it's 
uh, 45, and I think you have to get the guild up to level 15 to open up the exchange shop. But it's really awesome to be able to get all these, you know, have a chance to get cards, fighters, uh, make sure that you're greeting your members every day. If you are not in a guild, let me know in the comments and maybe I can connect you to someone that does have a guild. Maybe they need some team members and what have you. So let me know if this helps anybody out as far as guilds and how they can help you. And I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.